What's up everyone, welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about SWI at 3T. We're gonna do some modification together. I'm gonna to show you some tips and tricks there. And we're gonna go from images like this to this. All right, stay tuned and I'll show you. For those who've been on my channel before, thanks for coming back. And for those who knew, my name is back again. I'm an MRI radiographer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, tutorials, just like this one. So if you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. SWI is a sequence which I'm not usually do a lot of optimization, of course, with the resolution and parameters like that. But I never thought about one specific parameter which can affect the image quality a lot, as you saw in the beginning of the video. So enough talking for me. Let's go to the scanner now, show you. All right, so we are 3T. The thing I'm about to show you is meant for 3T. And uh, we're going to do a uh, localizer first. We go to the Siemens uh, 3 and we're just going to pick a SWI sequence and uh, just take it straight from the, the tree. Go to the library, go to SWI, and then there's a lot of options here. So I'm just going to pick one and uh, try to do the original one versus a modified one. So you would see any differences. So let's drag it over. And we're gonna open this one. So this is the original one. We're not gonna do any modification. And then the thing about, uh, if you're gonna take a sequence directly from the Siemens tree, uh, it's of the reconstruction is magnitude. But if you want to have the face images as well, you have to tick it on. And if you do, if you cannot see the SWI in your Siemens tree, that means that you don't have a license or you don't have that sequence available. So just keep that in mind. So we're just gonna tick on the face here. So I'm gonna have all the images and position and we're gonna do a scan. So the second one is the modify one. Just gonna write modify here so we can see the differences. And the thing I'm gonna change is that the TE the T is a parameter which I'm not touching uh, when it comes to SWI. I am usually use that as it is. Um, but let's change this one now and you will see the differences. So I want to change it to 30, the TE to 30, but it's locked there because the TR is at minimum. So we need to increase the TR to 40 and then you can increase the TE to 30. The, the main point is the TE. I want it to go from standard 20 to 30, okay? But of course, and whenever you increase the TR, the scan time also increases. Just uh, take a look at them. Compare these two. Okay. So whenever the TR is 30, as you see there, the original one, the time is around 2 minutes and 50 seconds. But increasing the TR from 30 to 40 for being able to increase the TE, which is important for me now. And the time also increases to 3 minutes and 43. But in this test, the scan time is, doesn't matter for me. I just want to show the differences because whenever you have a high scan time like this, it's possible to adjust it by adjusting other parameters. But I'm not going to go into that topic currently today. I'm just going to show you the differences in pack whenever you're changing the T. So let's scan that one as well. All right, so I'm going to show you the results after the scanning. This is the results comparison head to head on the, on the left side there. You can see that's the standard one on the right side that's the one we modified okay just run it right there you can see already here the differences let's find us there you can see there's a lot of more uh, small vessels enhance much better whenever you're increasing the te from standard 20 to 30. you see also here it's much more susceptibility. That means that increasing the TE will increase the susceptibility, right? And more defacing susceptibility. That's exactly what we want to see in the blood, the artifact, the artifact, which we really need to have whenever we use the sequence. It's for, for it's a sensitive to blood, you know, that's why we're using uh, SWI. So you can see the differences there, but there are pro and cons and I will show you pretty soon. Look at the small vessel right there. The small vessel here comes much more forward compared to there but just changing the te so this one looks much much better of course but i'm going to show you one calm pretty soon right there so the images is synced 
and images also have the same um, uh, window level. But look at the susceptibility. The susceptibility enhances. That means that you also enhance the artifact, uh, which you usually don't want to enhance right there. See, there's more artifact right there. So I can see a problem whenever it comes to uh, metal artifacts from a thief, for example, it will be a problem there. But overall, the, the sequence is much better. And also here at the in air area, hair tissue interference. Yeah. But nevertheless, the small vessel, it comes much more better forward, just like this one. It's very difficult to see on the other side. So it's pro and cons. Just remember that. And I also want to show you, I did a few more tests on different parameters. And let's see if it affects the image quality at all. So let me show you. All right, so as you can see here, the TE of 20 is the standard one. If you get it from Siemens 3, it's the standard one of 3T. But then yeah, what I show you is that increasing it to 30, it enhanced more you know, of the small vessels, more defacing, better susceptibility, which we need. But there could also be a problem if at the air soft tissue interference. But then I was wondering, what if I increase in the TE from 30 to 40, will it be any differences? So if you compare the T from 30 to 40, doesn't see much difference. I see, I think the cutoff is something where in between here, but increasing the T to 40, you also have to increase the TR for being able to do so. And the time will go up. So I don't see any benefit there. And another thing I was curious about is the flip angle. Does flip angle have an impact on image quality at all? If you change a little bit up or down and I tried the 10, 15, 20, 25. For me, it doesn't look like it have a much impact when it comes to flip banging as much as the little adjustment of the TE. So yeah, well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable. Nevertheless, after watching my video, I'm just wondering, are you going to try this at your scanner? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, don't forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe, hit on the notification bell so you get a ding ding whenever new things will be coming up. I will catch up with you in my next video. Peace out.